got a dog in a papoose. <laughs> who's that calling? Oh, all right, all right. Who's who's what calling? Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> My chakras were clogged. My chakras were clogged. Alicia, is that you? Good luck. What are you doing out there? Is someone else there in the yard? She's received a shiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes, where are the others? What are you people doing? It's all right, calm down, calm down. It's this sheep's heart. I scan the yard. Seals on it. For the person I was looking for. There's no sign of that person. Anything that's got to take the edge off whatever the fuck I've been experiencing. Anywhere they could be hiding. It's like the heart's become a part of my hand. I was sort of in that hinterland. They could be hiding in the shed, couldn't they? Do you live here? It smells like opium. Now it's beating the same rhythm of my own heart. That was used for the counteracting of spells. Remember, Elliot, saying no is cool. And it is in your hand. I'm fine, really, Sarah. I just need to have a look and see how bad it is. And behind the lawnmower is a badly hiding teenager. Snap. Do you live here? You don't have to run, mate. We're not going to chase you. Do I know who the person is who speaks Dutch? I, I'm waiting for Angelica. I don't want any trouble. Maggie Stern. This spell component. The Alicia, I think I'm getting it. Elliot, get the fuck out of the shed. So, David, he comes round. He's got an unhealthy obsession with Angelica. I imagine I'm getting this out of the inscrutable Mr. Angelopoulos. I'll tell you what I know. I'll tell you everything. Don't worry, you're not going to get hurt. Someone else has come round recently, big fella. I can help with your CV if you ever need to do some work experience in an antique shop in Lowestoft. The stars in his eyes dissipate. Call me is a very weird thing to say to your girlfriend's mum. Lowestoft. I think I probably want to fail this role, don't I? Oh, I don't know why I'm talking to you, you're not even here. Hang on, slow down, I'm trying to catch up here. God, is that where that guy's from? The big guy who came around the other day? Wait a minute, slow down, you've taken too much speed. It is sinister and it is fucked up. It's a liger, I go towards the shed with my pet liger and my luger. <sighs> I hit it like you would hit a spider with the heel of your shoe, just on instinct. You obliterate this hand. Oh, oh. Think, Elliot, think. This could be really important. This guy's fat, but he's got muscles. Nathan. I think he might have hit her. I think he might have hit her. Oh, oh. You find a little locked box in the bottom of her wardrobe. Can I go on my social media? You're so excited. And can I look up Nathan Held? You steal it. Sean is actually David's son. Right. Wow. Does that make sense to you? That's fucked up, man. It's really fucked up, man. Maybe. I don't know. I mean... Like... I take four of these pills, shove them in my mouth, start chewing them. Right, we've got to get out of here. Some double of his self turns out of him. I turn to the others and I go... I've been to meditation retreats where group hallucinations happen. Did you see that? Turns out of him and walks down the alleyway. We've got to go now. Go, go. I mean, consciousness is linked, right? It's all in the coding. You what? Do we both see that? Oh, fuck. Do we all see that? We've got to go. We've got to go now. A response could only be that he would send one of his ravens. And he chose, of course, memory. Is it me, Ray? Or did you not get enough sleep last night? <laughs> well, uh, no, I was up. Uh, yeah, no, of course I didn't. I mean, when was the last time either of us had enough sleep? I think I saw you at. Was it 2 a.m.? Yeah, it could have been. Could have been. Where did you see me? You were sneaking into a room or out of a room? <laughs> hey, listen, I was probably just going for a midnight snack. I should know better than not being able to remember whether you're going in or out. That's, <laughs> hey, you should. That's bad form on my part. Yeah. yeah. Don't be uh, leading any rituals with us anytime soon, will you? <laughs> the in and the oh. out. I call the spirits in. Wait, I meant out. Suddenly we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wish. <laughs> well, I know. Me too. Although there are some standing stones that I have a little eye on. Oh, I. Whereabouts? Yeah. They're out past the old wherry line, up near Reedham Cut. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's a few out there that people don't really know so much about. Well, I don't think I've ever heard of them. I mean, I know they're scattered all over the place, but I've just never... I should I should get out to Nature Mall here. Anyway, listen, I've not had enough sleep, as he said. What are we here for? I think the time has come. We need to find that number. Yeah. Since Chris and Rachel joined the society, I, I, we're up to 40 members. Fuck. Is that it? 40? Mm. Jesus. 
I mean... I know we've gone up and down a little, but... You said... You remember? Not last night, I mean. Yeah. Last week you were talking about finding the right number and... Well, that's it, yeah. I think now is the time. Yeah. No, I... Uh, I've been thinking about that myself, and I think... Listen, I mean, I know that's not what you're saying. I don't think 40 is the number at all, but the inner number, I think there has to be... Listen, I know it'll sound cliched. I know, I know it will. But there is a number that I think is the right one. And there are people who I think are the right people. You were hesitating. Why are you hesitating? I'm not... Listen. <laughs> I'm just aware of... Listen. I know clichés are clichés, and I, I'm a... You've always been aware. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Um, you are right for a drink, by the way? Ah. Yeah, I'll get the next one. OK. Well, listen. 40 people now. That's a lot. It's, you know, not too many. It's not too little. It'll be more. We both know it'll be more. It will be more. I think it should be more. But there is a certain amount, I think... We need to have an inner sanctum. We need to have... I know it sounds a bit... exclusive or whatever. I don't mean in that way, but you know I don't mean that. But I think you're right. There has to be some control. We need to keep the direction of the group. Because you, I've seen groups like this before. You know, not the same. Not with what we have. But I've seen groups like this and they can drift, you know... You know, say there's an influx of 30, 40 new... Uh, you know, when Freshers' Week comes around, they all think it's a bit of a laugh. We all talk about Buffy, and you know I love talking about Buffy. But, Ray, you're, you're forgetting. You're forgetting. They don't have Eric on the books. That is true. They don't have Eric on the books. That's probably enough to drive me to another beer. Or we'll fool them. Oh, aye. Well, <laughs> I'll have a... Well, pint of bitter. Anyway. I'll finish this one. Listen. Yeah, I, I think you're you onto something. I can feel it. I sense I, I feel like I am. I, I just... You're right, I didn't have enough sleep last night, but I, I keep thinking it over and over. And I think it has to be 13. It has to be the 13. Hmm. It just... It, it has to be... It links up with so many things. There's a reason I hesitated, because it sounds clichéd almost, but there's a reason for that. There's a reason for it to be unlucky and a reason for it to be lucky, and there's a reason that's to do with all sorts of things, expectation, uh, uh, perception, but it feels right to me. And listen, I've been going through... <laughs> listen, you know... <laughs> if you must know, last night I was up until about five in the morning reading. And when I say I was up in the night till five in the morning reading, I was reading something that cannot be read. I want to say I was up till five in the morning reading something that can't be read. I think you know what I mean. Or maybe you don't. The Voynich? Ah, the manuscript. I did. I told. I knew I'd told you about it. I just, I can't get away from it. And uh, honestly, David, there's, there's things in there that, like, I mean, say indecipherable. Say, uh, you know, false or whatever. I know they've not been able to carbon date it yet. But either way... There are images in there that summon up things that they, they, they match. They match with all sorts of things. And there are, there are images that look like there could be a biblical angel or could be a virus, could be some premonition of something, could be a description of something already in existence. I, I don't know. But, but 13 keeps coming back to me. Mm. And, and, and You've it, sensed it from, from the images? Well, I think I have. From the realm of the book? Well, we both... We both believe, right? Oh, I believe firmly in your belief that this parchment has inspired. I can see it in you. I can see it in your eyes. I mean, it has. It has. And I I couldn't tell you which part specifically, and I couldn't tell you which, which counting came to the right number, but it was also thinking about our members. I mean, you know, I... You know, Alicia, Mel, John... You know, I, I mean, you know, our, our core group, our core group, Sarah. I, I think, well, Bridget, obviously, Bridget. You know, let's not leave her out, Bridget. Not that we ever would, uh, but you know, no, of course not. Eric, I mean, like you've already said, I mean, there are so many of us that makes I, it just comes to me that like I count them up, I count up the core group, the people that I really think should be in charge of where this goes, and I come to thirteen. 
And I guess that's my pitch to you, David, is that we go with that. It is a good number. Isn't it? The Apostles and One. <laughs> well, quite. <laughs> Who's going to be the one? Well, I couldn't possibly come. No, no, likewise, likewise. We shouldn't, we shouldn't. But what up do you think? 5 a.m. reading. Up till 5 a.m. reading. I know. Very I know. impressive. I mean, I'm not saying there weren't other substances involved. I'm just saying that reading was my main <laughs> thrust. But no, but no people. Oh, well, you know. Forgive me for being... No, listen, I... <laughs> personal. There, there might have been someone. There's no one you know, if it was. It's often better that way. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I, I think it is, actually. For this sort I of just want you to be happy. Sometimes I see the hunger in your eyes. Well, I appreciate that. I, uh... Yeah, there, well, there is hunger, I... Eric manages money in his mind. Yeah, yeah. You see the power of it. The power of the number. Yeah. Which is why I'm inclined to agree with you. Mm. Who is the one? Who is it's funny, Blavatsky's inheritors talked about the theosophical movements um, coming to its greatest point. Aye. One would come Right. They, they would be met and they would be innocent. They would have the guileless nature of a child, but the power and knowingness of the gods. Wow. Wow. Fucking hell. There was one met upon a beach on a far and distant shore. I think it was India. Ah. I'm not familiar. And many tried to make that young man into the one who would show the path of the secret mysteries. Uh, okay. Yeah. Whether, whether there were 12 who tried to persuade him to perform the role, mm. to say the words, to be at the stones. Aye. It's hard to say. It's hard to say whether that can be achieved. Maybe the one could be sought by the 13. Well, perhaps. Oh, well, a bit like the uh, the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama seeking each other through generations, through lives. Mm. Through timeless shapes. Aye. The vortices of knowing and not knowing. Uh, okay, now. Innocence and corruption. The in and the out. I love it. I love it. This is, see, this is it. This is the stuff, isn't it? This is what we need to be focusing on. I think the 13 yeah. is a great number. Isn't it? So, would you like to tell them? Well, uh, uh, well, or should I? I think, uh, you know, David, in all honesty, I think they, uh, it'd be better coming from you, really. I mean, I'm ha I'd be happy to, but... I feel like you have a sense of the group. You've got a feel for everyone here, you know. I think I do too, but maybe in a less sociable way. I think know? John would listen to you. Oh, I think John would, yeah. I, I'm not saying I don't have anyone. In, I mean, I'm assuming we're thinking that... I, I see the way he looks at you when you speak. Well, uh, I, I can't say I've noticed myself, or perhaps I have, but I'm sort of... I, mean, you know, I don't know, but... He doesn't listen to anyone else like that, except maybe Mel. <laughs> right, yeah, no, that... Makes it. I've seen it with Mel. I have seen him with Mel. I mean, it's it's hard not to listen when Mel speaks. God, isn't it? Fucking hell! <laughs> it really can be. Well, what about you then? How's uh? No, sorry, I shouldn't. I'm being naughty, but well, how is everything with uh? You know, Bridget. Naughty is as naughty does. <laughs> True. How's Bridget? Bridget's very well. Good. I don't know where she was between two and five this morning. <laughs> very well. Oh, I got you. Well, she wasn't with me, if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> you said no one you know. Oh, quite. She's always found your lovely eyes so lovely. Well, you know, she's only human. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? <laughs> she's only human. Oh, so I see. Yeah, I see. And yet her forgiveness is divine. And how about yourself? Where were you between the hours of two and five? Between two and five. Well, Your Honour. <laughs> it's time to get that beer. I should get that beer. I think it might be. 
I definitely, we definitely need a refresher for the uh, full interrogation. Maybe a slammer or two. I'm only kidding. I'm, I'm pulling your leg. Aren't you, I've got to do our Bothnuts paper, actually. I haven't, have you? you? Have you done that already? I have. Impressive. Impressive. Uh, fuck knows if it's any good, I'll be honest. Ray, uh, impressive. Well, you know, I get it done early. Fuck knows if it's Why any does good. He, he sounds like he's from another age, our Bothnuts. Doesn't he just... Even his name suggests he's from another age. I know. Aristotle, our Bothnut. He would approve of the 13th. Do you know what? He would, wouldn't he? Aristotle. He would. It's funny, you know, I I found myself outside Sarah's door around 2 a.m. 2.05, it must have been. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And I heard I heard she was up and about. Oh, yeah, partying. So, lovely, lovely Sarah, lovely Sarah. Oh, she's fucking gorgeous, man. She so, is gorgeous. Man, she is yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. So what? Did you knock? Did you go in? But it would, it would be too easy, right? It would be too easy. No, it would be too easy. Well, hey, too easy for you, maybe. And hey, this is two lads talking. I ain't like we're we're on a level here. Too easy for you, not for every man. So if you have that restraint, fair play to you, I say. I couldn't. I couldn't risk what Bridget and I have for that. No. Well, I think honourable. I don't think she'd forgive me. No. Well, well, you sh- you fucking shouldn't anyway, you dirty dog. But which which would she, Ray? Would she Ray? Well, maybe she would. This is the thing, man. You've got this thing over people. You can never tell. I, it's you can you can fucking. I have nothing over people. No, okay, that sounded wrong. I don't mean you've got you're holding anything over people. No, I understand what you mean. You, you the you doors. Can't. I see the doors and they open and right. I say, here I am. I'm coming through the door. Is this yeah. where I should be? Yeah. And and Stacy and Sarah have both said that's being open to life, man. This door is yours. Yeah, I can't believe I'm using this metaphor, but that's apparently. Oh, well, mate, you've started now. You better finish. I'm too deeply in love with riddles. Mastermind, isn't it? The goddess is too deeply in love with riddles. Oh, hi, she is. I am but a servant to the goddess. Of course, of course. As are we all. You especially. Nature will call. Nietzsche or nature. I was hoping nature, but nature might call too. You might call as well, you never know. Conversations with equine powers. <laughs> I have summoned the Turin horse. Aye. Hmm. <laughs> did you feel that? Yeah. It was like a ripple through time. I really fucking did. It was, that was fucking... It was like someone else was with us for a second there, wasn't there? It was like someone was sat right here. That was mad. Fuck, I put a shiver up my spine, that. Twelve and the one. Twelve and the one. Makes sense to me. What was, uh, it was bitter, yes? Oh, yeah, quite the best. Best bitter. Yeah. I'll get it. Thanks, David. Thank you, Ray. Clips players present The Moonchild by Paul Fricker, a 7th edition Call of Cthulhu scenario from the Nameless Horrors collection, starring Dominic Allen as Alicia Juico, Dan Ann McAleer as Ray West, Jeannie Spark as Melinda Moody. Dan Wheeler as Eric Wilson and Joseph Chance as your keeper of the arcane lore.
Sarah's room. Narrowly avoided jabbing yourself on hypodermic needles. Mm-hmm. Had a horrifying vision of the heart, this time alive, and blood traced back from it across your body into your own heart before you realised that it was actually a teddy bear you were holding, which you very sensibly threw away. But you took the opportunity, since you'd been busted by Sean, you dashed into Angelica's and Sean's room and grabbed what looks like Angelica's private cash box. Mm. Then you got downstairs uh, to be confronted by Sarah. Now, what actually happened then was there was an explosion between the two of you. You, Of course, you would have tried everything you possibly could, and and it doesn't matter how many rolls you pass, she's high, and she's overly emotional, so she told you to fuck off out out of her house. Classic. (laughs) <laughs> so you took the quickest exit, which was out, out the back door. Fair. Sean was behind her looking at you. And I'm going to tell you this. Sean's eyes at that, that moment were full of glee. A glee that you would say is not normal for a nine-year-old boy. Wow. And it, and it gave you the willies, technical term. Okay. Yeah. So you ran out the back, and you ran out the back just at the same time as the other three were having a moment of connection because they'd seen, unbeknownst to you, a a double figure walking away from Elliot as he walked down the long alleyway past the back of the houses. A double came out of him and walked down the right-hand turning, the very alley that you'd come down into this weird back alley area. Um, uh, it It was both horrible and comedic, because at the time... Uh, you had Eric on his hands and knees. He'd just been thrown some drugs in a desperate bid by Elliot to get you all off his back. And he just grabbed them and he stuffed some d- drugs in his mouth. So he's taken a random blue pill that he doesn't know what it is, but he's taken four of them. Viagra. Taken um, four, yeah. That, that is on the list. <laughs> that is on the list. <laughs> the blue pill or the red pill? <laughs> four of them. Could make, could make for an interesting uh, 24 hours. <clears throat> to do the rest of the investigation with yeah. a massive yeah. bonus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ray, <laughs> you you Nick, you you grabbed the other remaining damn pills. Robin. No, damn Robin. Uh, you you grabbed the no. other remaining pills. Um, and while we're here, could you give me D six? How many pills are there remaining? Oh yeah, in that ba- in the bag. Because he didn't. He said specifically. Dan said, "I'm not going to take a handful." He's not going to take. A handful. Yeah. I was like, "Thank fuck." Uh, one. It's, it's not ODing. There's only one left. Perfect. So, <laughs> I guess I mean that's enough to chuck as a sort yeah. of get away isn't it five or six you know i mean yeah yeah i mean like five, five, I mean, yeah. he's he's a small time yeah yeah he's a small time dealer for a dealer isn't he so pusher i suppose is it? no i don't i don't know the yeah. terms. Sorry, i really must gen up on my um modern terms <laughs> sorry it's long uh, it's a long it's a long old backstory that's but, good uh, we're nearly there it's, we're, we're nearly there because obviously mel came out road 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 boy what are they called? road man road yeah. road man is that what he is? Yeah, uh, well, Good. he seems a bit wet by the ears to be a roadman. Roadman's the British oh, term, okay. but it's like generally for a bit of a G. It's like someone who's actually a gangster oh, rather it? than some petty weed dealer or whatever, but yeah. Ba- basically okay. a wannabe, right? <laughs> yeah, wannabe. yeah. He's a wannabe, wannabe roadman. Road yeah. yeah, this this might have changed him, I think. This encounter... Cut that in. Make it sound like I'm really, I'm really down with yeah. the kids. <laughs> uh, the, the encounter with the yoga yoga dude, his, his papoose-bound... Um, what is it? Well, multi poo. It's not a multi poo. Thank a you. Multi poo of madness. And, and the intensely fierce uh, <laughs> antiquarian who rolled an excellent uh, intimidation roll. I seem to recall. Mm. Anyway, you, you were all looking at your palms in this moment of Alicia saying, "We've just we've just had a joint hallucination." When Melinda came out and basically said, "We've got to go. Let's get out of here." That do not sound like that. <laughs> no, you do. Wait, which one of you is yeah. talking? Yeah, it's hard to say, isn't it? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> and and so you were coming back round the front of the house, back to the cars. Mm. Any questions? Nine. S- so many. But As no. in no, not nine questions. No, I've got nine questions, but we'll just yeah. start with start with the one. Yeah. So we're all as a group sort of coming out towards the cars. There was there was this there was this sense of group relief. Mm. 
Um, and there's some stuff that some some of you know and others of you don't know about about things. But obviously, Elliot's walked off down, uh, and as you turned right, there was no sign of the double Elliot. No. Hmm. Did I? Did Melinda see the double, or was, no. did she miss that? She's walked, she missed that. She walked into she the after that. and be like, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if, I think if we're as a group, we're walking out towards the cars. I mean, I, I certainly don't want to stay down these fucking haunted alleyways. Um, but I think I might say, as as we're all sort of picking up pace, I might just turn to Melinda and say, uh, uh, "How did it go in there? We um, God, we've just we've seen something down here. It's something very strange is going on. I I don't know how's how Sarah how how did it." Not good. It didn't go well. It, uh, not good. There's a lot... There's a fucking shit ton of weird shit going on in that house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Melinda, you did hear them saying Nathan held, just as you came out. Oh, Nathan. Right. Um, in, in your, in your defence. Yeah. I think we know who's responsible as well. Nathan. You remember Nathan? Nathan yeah. held? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, by this time, I think you're, you're on the path... Right, yeah. Oh, fuck. So, this Elliot lad, me and Alicia's just been talking to, he said, um, I'm sort of hoping to be saying this as we're sort of going down the alleyway towards the cars. You're, you're out of the alleyway and you're on the path to the cars. Yeah. I sort of say, you know, he said that she'd, he'd been coming around, or he'd come around once. I think he'd been aggressive, certainly. Uh, he he recognised him, though, anyway. I looked him up on, on Insta and it's it's him. He's involved, and this Elliot kid's terrified of him. I'm pretty sure he's the one who gave Sarah the black eye. Yeah. But, but we've just seen something fucking weird. I wonder if now's the time to go and confront David and find out what his side of the story is. Because yeah. it sounds like his involvement is much more obtuse and strange than we expected. I, I, yes. I, think, I think they're all involved. Yeah. M- Maggie's involved for sure. Don't ask me how I know, I just know Maggie's got something to do with this. Nathan, Bridget, they're fucking all involved. Well, he's a little bit louder when he says that because he's about six yards behind you yeah. all because he's working his way along, um, putting, still just putting his shoe back on, mm. having, you know, and he just, poor old Eric looks a bit of a mess. Um, he's sweating, <laughs> his, his knees are on his trousers are now really stained. He's obviously limping. Yeah, I think at that outburst, it probably reminds me that he... Uh, oh, shit. Um, Eric's... He swallowed fucking pills. Eric, how are you doing, mate? Come over here. I'm all right, I'm all right. I just need, just, just need to get out of here. Do you even know what they were? Let's roll a D4. Do you want to know what the numbers mean? <laughs> or do you want to? Do you want it to be random? I'm, Can you sense what it is? And I will know. I, I think I want it to be random. I want you to know and you to just tell me what the yeah. effects are. Excellent. I think that'll be nice. And, and as, a, as a key in for the next hour, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then I can... Actually, for the hour after this hour, probably. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In character, I can potentially start to try to, <laughs> to work yeah. out what I have taken. I'll give you as many cues as I realistically can. Oh, help me, but here we go. Which is why I've, which is why I've picked the four things that I've picked. It's a one. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> well, he won't be gurning just yet either yeah. way, so I guess there's no clues but, for us. But the strange <laughs> thing is, I think I feel instantly better having taken something. Yeah. Oh, oh. Even though it hasn't had an Without effect. a doubt. Yeah. It's, I just need, I needed something and I've had something. Mm. Fuck knows what it was, but like the edge of reality. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully it's a tic-tac having the placebo effect. (laughs) (laughs) Fingers crossed. Did it taste limey? Never mind. Anyway. I've I've got a question about the characters on our sheet that were in the group with us. Yes. The information Mm. about them. Is that in-character knowledge? Uh, That is in-character knowledge. Uh, Everything that's written on the... You mean on the breakdown, say, for instance, of the 13? Yeah. yeah. So, like, the fact that Stacey Stacey Simple's in hospital. hospital. Yep. Yeah, that's been discussed, I think. Yeah, that, that, Has it? Sorry, I didn't do that on the. Um, I didn't do that on the catch up. Obviously, um, there was and crucially mention yes, of. But we got a note. Look what happened to Stacy. David's trying to curse us. Yes, I found it. Look what happened to Gary. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, and now Stacy's gone. Like she's. Yeah. She's so. And and there was an implication 
that all crucial, actually. Thanks for reminding me. Um, <laughs> uh, there was an implication that there'd been contact between Stacy and Sarah. Because I've written down 2pm, uh, Stacy, so Dr. Nelson. Nelson Ward, oh. Dr. Wentham, was the pa- was, that was Wentham, the piece of paper yeah. that oh, Melinda Moody found oh, in the bedroom. Found, yes. and was, the implication oh, was that Stacy was in hospital for a, 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 a psychiatric condition, right? Absolutely. Physical ailment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think yeah. as far as oh, you I got wonder. from Sarah, sorry, Don, was that uh, she'd been found like, off, a, off a rocker, basically. She was, she was crazy. Sorry. Yeah. I wonder if, mm. like you say, Eric, if everyone's involved, maybe... Maybe we need to get the whole gang together because it sounds like we could all be in a... A lot of shit. We need to speak to uh, Mari and Greg. I think so. I think so. What, what's the first port of call? I mean, we know where David lives and well, we know he's nearby. Sorry if I'm being stupid, but shouldn't the first port of call to be to call the police and tell them about Nathan? I mean... Tell them, tell them what? If he's come around and battered... Well, that he's come around and battered our friend, Sarah, if she is our friend. I mean... It, I mean, she may not be telling us the whole truth, but I certainly don't disbelieve that young lad when he mentioned it. I mean, how would he have known otherwise? I showed him a photo. It was we him. Know, well, we don't know for sure that he's the one who's given her the black eye, though. That's just us. This is my thinking. No. If we found the... It's not really an emergency as such right now, because, you know... I suppose. It, what's done is done, and it's not like he's around the house now. I think yeah. our best course of action is to check in with everyone, get as much information as we can. If we get some solid evidence together, then we go to the police. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Agreed. we can say, right. listen, we've got all these testimonies. Okay. What we don't want, however, is for him to get wind that we're sniffing around and for him to take drastic action. No, 100%. And we don't no, want to, right. you know, right. him, him to think that we're... Uh, like dobbing him in into the into the police when when actually there is no evidence and then he, mm. then he's just got an axe to grind. No, exactly. No, you're right. If we don't have enough evidence, they'll let him go, right. and then he'll come and well, he might. Yeah, he you've might. perked up, Eric. Is his face still hanging off? <laughs> <laughs> Could you give me a spot hidden, all of you? Um, yeah, extremes and hards do make differences. If you pardon the expression. Mm. Ooh. Wee. Oh, a 39. I don't know if that's any good. Mine's a regular success. I could... Mine's a success. Mine It'd be a lot of success. It's one point off, but if other people have passed, I think it's probably not worth two, it. Two that regulars. Fails. Two that regulars fails. and a fail. Yeah. Um, uh, so, I think uh, the two of you who don't... You, you, you're, you're, you're focused on getting to the cars, Eric and Melinda. I mean, Melinda, you've, you, you feel a bit shaken by how aggressive... Sarah was with you, even yeah. but also the adrenaline after that dash through the house. Yeah, the whole thing's it's just been a fucking weird 20 minutes, it's been very weird. So, I mean, you're both, I think you're both proud of yourself and a bit horrified. Um, but you do have the cash box still, I do, yeah, uh, and, and that's not open yet. In my capacious cardigan sleeve, <laughs> just rattling around. Anyway, so I think the two of you are probably dealing with yeah. getting to the car more. Alicia and Ray, uh, you see the curtain go open, um, just twitch open, uh, and you see this little nine-year-old boy's face, which you assume must be Sean, peek out, and he's looking at you and he's smiling. I think I, I put my hand up in a sort of a wave. And he, like, and not he, a wave. And he puts his hand up and he waves. And then there's there's clearly a you're the winner, and he and he sort of dashes away. Fucking the, hell! That even you here, and and you're sort of both the lawn and a couple of mm. paths away. You're good. You're a good twenty yards away, and you can hear this shout. That poor fucking kid. How was he, Melinda? Sean, the son. Not normal. Not he seen see seen some stuff. I think. I mean, he, he looks happy enough, I suppose waving so. at us, but... Uh, he, uh, it seems clear that David's been around a fair few times. Um, yeah. And he mentioned... He mentioned something about magic, or I did, and he... He 
didn't seem to think that was odd. He, I think he's seen some stuff that he shouldn't have seen. Yeah. Shit. Oh, well. Well, we'll have to yeah. check in again. I mean, I Elliot so. was saying that David hadn't been round as recently. Uh, oh. It sort of his visits had dropped off, and it was now Nathan who'd come round, and he was the one that he was scared of. But oh who's to say? I think Nathan, we should, I Nathan think was the most recent support. visitor, but David, yeah. David. I mean, the implication is David might therefore have been the week before. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. for a, it's a lot for a kid his age to is. Yeah. is there anything that could be gleaned psychologically from that quick view of him through the window? <laughs> yeah, he's utterly demented. Or- yeah, and I wonder whether. Ray's comment is actually maybe ringing in your ears a bit. Um, give us give us a psychology roll, but I'll give you a bonus die since you've brought mm. it up. While you're rolling that, um, I, I, I don't think you can take anything about what, what a nine-year-old thinks when you mention magic. He's probably playing that daft card game. You know, what is it, uh, gathering magic? Yeah, well, he's probably... I mean, Hogwarts Legacy's just come out. He's probably been on that too much, to be fair. Doing 360 no-scopes with wands. Oh, Christ, you better not bring her up. <laughs> On my psychology of ten, I've rolled 91 twice. Wow. Oh, God. Wow, Ouch. fucking hell, mate. So I'm obviously not meant to know. Yeah. It's all remarkable. I think, yeah. But I think there's something bugging you yeah. about the way he was. I mean, basically, you saw a kid grinning, and it was a bit weird. I was about to the say... The wave back was kind of a bit more like a nine-year-old kid, but the, the, mm. the grin seemed a little... I don't know. I do feel sorry for him because he's obviously having a really... It must be a very difficult, traumatic time. But he is... He does give me the creeps a bit. <laughs> Nine-year-olds do. As you say that, the, the sun breaks through the clouds and and the, the heavy grey that has been dominating since the car park discussion finally gives way to a, a, a more pleasant evening. It's 5.20pm. A mere 50 minutes, astonishingly, has passed since your departure from Cinema City Cafe. 20 minutes to drive here, half an hour of interrogating a uh, wannabe roadman and stealing Mm. a 16-year-old's cash box. I think we can all sleep (laughs) safely tonight. It's with a real roadman. 5.20pm. 5.20. I think you said... Uh, 20 p.m. Yeah, that's yeah, I thought so as well. Roll sanity. Like, is that 80 more? Let's try the game, shall we? It's 5.20 p.m. <laughs> Lovely. 17.20 so, hours. The clock struck 13. <laughs> So we're going to visit David. That's the idea. I think, uh, well, Hill and Bridget, you know, it's two birds and one stone. I think it's, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like of all the people we could visit, he's probably the keystone. I think he's probably got the most information. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm inclined to maybe uh, call, call Greg on the way to see what he knows. Yeah. 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 Oh, good idea. Who's in which cars? Um, Alicia, you want to come in with me again? Yeah. Let's do right. that. I'll come with you, Ray, if that's all right. All right. Yeah, hop in. Right. Do you want me to hold the dog? Or, um, oh, no, how does No, I mean, do you want the front or the back? He's he's happy either way. Oh, I'll come in the front yeah. with you. Go on then, Raman. I'll yeah. put him on the back seat. Um, <laughs> um, so, so passengers obviously can potentially... Well, it's the, 20, it's the 21st century, shotgun. 2022. <laughs> so, depending on... Mm, yeah, raise IT. So I think both of you have the capacity in your professional status that you probably have Bluetooth setups. So anyone can mm. call anyone they want to call, of course. Drivers as well. Right. Oh. Uh, yeah. I know I'm in a Tesla. It's AI. Telephones so were being discussed. The best and it drives me. Um, <laughs> Tesla. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, you're about 10 minutes out of Norwich proper. I don't really. Yeah. Uh, I think Raman's a silly name for a dog. I agree. What is it like the um, the noodles? I'm on this channel. I presume so. No, I'm not. <laughs> if I had a dog, I'd call it Nigel. Something sensible. Uh, excellent. My dad's name. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Melinda, we saw something down that alleyway. I'm sort of strapping in and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sort of saying to the guys, um, should we follow you or do you want to follow us? Oh, do you think he heard that thing I said about the dog? <laughs> Does seem yeah, likely. Did. Oh, I thought we were in the car already. What are you saying about a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, don't worry. Well, I missed that. Um, should we follow you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I'll right. well, plug it in the sat nav. Yeah. Right, see you there. Are you all right to drive, Eric? Yeah, of course. Why, why would I? You're a bit sweat. You look oh, a bit. Actually, sweaty. that's the oh. point. Alicia, maybe you should drive. No offence, Eric, but yeah. you don't know what you've just taken. No. No, it's 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 fine. I, don't don't worry about it. It's. I mean, I do worry about it, Eric. <laughs> I'm pretty good at driving. I think if there's ice on the road and we're in a high-speed chase, I've got a one-in-two chance of surviving. Listen, here you go, and I, I, I come over and I, I take a photo on my cover app and I, I set up the insurance really quickly. It takes about 20 minutes. Uh... <laughs> Do, could you give me a computer use room? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, look, Alicia, Alicia you're saying that you're, you're sort of, what, like, half as good as the maximum good at driving one person could be? <laughs> So that's a that's a hard success on my computer use. If you actually, that's an hard is what I wanted. Maximum. I don't think it's a maximum that human yeah. beings achieve. You can really, once right. you've got the photo, you can just, you can carry on doing that as you're driving. So you get the photo yeah. and, you, and you set the website up. Sorry to interrupt. And yeah. you go back to I'll the car. Back. I've got you covered. Just hop in, Alicia. Fine, you take fine. a rest. There. But because I thought I've... there might be an apocalypse player's delay, could you all give me a spot hidden? But oh. Mel. Melinda, you get a bonus. Ooh! Ooh. For reasons. Oh, I've, oh, I've just succeeds. Yeah, 42 on a 45. Oh, yeah, and hards, hards and extremes do matter. Reg- regular success for me. Fail badly, but not a fumble? No, not quite. Just regular success. <gasps> Alicia, was it a re- regular for Alicia as well? Success. Regular, regular. Regular, regular. Extreme success. Extreme success. <laughs> Eight. Nice, eight. Nice. Perfect. Uh, so in the distance, at the very top of the road, you see um, quite a tall girl with dark hair walking, and you suddenly realise it's Angelica. She's approaching the house. <gasps> she's way in the distance. You're like, that's the... Oh, well, that's, um, uh, but, and the reason why it was easier for you is because you've seen more than one photo of her. Uh, you, were yes. all, you were all shown... That's Angelica, the photo, that... But, Look, look, there, there, there. Can you see oh, that girl? Her. Look, slow down a minute. Uh, guys, you've not that's even that's started that's driving. That's that girl there. Uh, I'm still in the Because there was a... You, okay. that, that, you're now getting back into cars. Yeah, yeah. Like, and that's, that's the moment. Uh, fine, Alicia. At least you, Alicia, girl, you that, can drive. That, I don't care. That, that girl, do you yeah, see the yeah. teenage girl up there? Dark hair. That's Angela. Well, should we chat with her Christ. quickly? I mean, before she gets to the house. Yeah. yeah. Come on, should. Think... Let's right. do it. And we're back out of the car <laughs> and sort of... I think maybe walk a bit right. along the path just so we're not having a confrontation with her directly outside the house she's coming to. So is that, she is coming is that what I'm... Maybe, maybe Melinda should talk to her because she's got the common touch. Yes, yes, I agree. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. put it like that. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. I'm pretty you. sure you can't hear that, Melinda, um, because they are now in different cars. <laughs> um, so Melinda and Ray, you're driving up to do that? The other two of you. Yeah, we can. If she's that far away, we could. Oh, drive she, up so a little she's bit. sort of driving yeah. distance rather than just. You could drive, drive those. Uh, it's like five hundred yards. It's the very limit of your eyesight, I would say, Melinda. Yeah. You recognise? Cool. Well, I think that's what we'll do because my instinct yeah. is not to have a try and have a chat with her where her mum right. or her brother yeah, might yeah, be. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. So it'll look like we've left. Yeah. yeah perfect. So, um, Eric, m- maybe. Well, Alicia's driving, so I guess Alicia, uh, Alicia, Alicia. call us to what we do. But I, I'm, 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 I might suggest to uh, Alicia. I might say, why don't we, dri- why don't we drive on past so it's not two cars pulling up next to her and sort of intimidating her. We just pull up, pull up a little bit f- further down the road and leave Melinda to it. Yeah, I think you'll definitely yes. see us pull in. Yes, yeah. um, of course, cruel, yeah. cruelly, in the way in which this always happens, don't you find, uh, Eric, when you come up with Next. a good idea and there's a little bit of control coming back could you give me a constitution roll oh. of course thank you got my beer delivery constitution hey. I, I'd give you a bonus oh. if it was Dan because that's definitely a bonus oh well look that is an extreme success oh. Zero, 04 hey. oh, oh, very, that's what we like very good my constitution is bad. Um, you feel a slight, you feel a slight itching in your foot, and then, and you're like, oh, like, 
That, so. that is that wound, isn't it? But it's not painful. You need to suck out the poison. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alicia, you, you hear him say that out loud. <laughs> what? I just need to suck out the poison. Oh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. But you drive past. Um, so is it is it the classic Starsky and Hutch pull up, jump out the window? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Trying to not be too dramatic. Hey, Dar. I don't want her to think we're mugging her or anything. No. Yeah. No. But I'd take ramen out. Oh, no. Not that. Yeah. Put them in the papoose as well, because a friendly little puppy dog's always going to, you know, help negotiation. You both get, you're both getting out then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'll let Melinda approach, yeah. So then we get out of the car. Yeah. Are we now along, like, us alongside her? How far away? You're like 10 yards yeah. away from her. She's sort of walking towards us and she's sort of spotted you do this. And, and she sort of looks around as if, like, are you stopping? Yeah. And she does look a bit nervous in that split second. I think, Melinda, with your extreme, I think you do see something else. There's something about the way that she's moving. Although she's nervous in the sense of a sort of fight or flight way nervous... Um, you you see something truly unusual about her. Okay. You can't quite put your finger on it. It could just be that sense of, as you're approaching now and you're getting a better, closer look, comparing to those photographs, you get a sense, I think a sense of a secret smile about her. There's a confidence, the way she's moving. She's got a slight swing to the hips, if you see what I mean. Hmm. A confidence that is born of something that you can't place and is rare in a person. And, you you know, in that moment, I think you are very taken by the fact that she is unusual and there's something unusual about her that you can't pin down. It's not that she's, like, staggeringly beautiful or that she's giving off some kind of weird vibe. B- behaviorally, it's that... It's more to do with the play of the facial features as if she's rearranging herself from a conversation that she's been having in her own mind. Cool. Your journalistic instincts are convinced that she's an unusual girl. So I think I say, Angelica, it's all right. Don't worry. Uh, my name's Melinda. I'm a friend of your mum's. Sorry, um, what? I don't know you. It's all right. We were, we're all friends from university and um, she invited us back for a cup of tea. We were just leaving. Are you social workers? You there. I've not seen you. No, not at all, not no. at all. I'm just a friend of your mum's. But I've not seen you since you were a little girl. I don't it's, have it's any money. to see you. I, no, I don't want any. I just. I hope you don't think this is weird, but I just... It's so lovely to <laughs> see you. She really doesn't have any money to, to see. I say hello. Melinda's just nicked it. <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jingle, yeah. jangle, jingle, jangle. She falls out of your cardigan. She looks a bit oh. frightened, and you, you see her eyes dart off, and you think she might be about to run for it. Oh, no, please don't run away. I'm not... I'm not trying to scare Her you. Her eyes go wide. Really. I genuinely just want... <laughs> I've just seen Sean. I've not seen him since he was a baby. He's he's grown up, hasn't he? Is my mum in trouble? What's he like as... No, she's not in trouble. What's Sean like as a little brother? Is he a pain in the ass? He's a dick he right? sometimes. Quite quite a lot of the time. <laughs> Who are you? Who are yeah, you? I can imagine. Oh. Melinda. Melinda Moody. <laughs> and this is Ray. I'm Ray. This is Raman. Say hello, Raman. Hello. Hmm. Okay, okay. It is a really weird name for a dog, though. Isn't it? <laughs> Melinda. It is, yeah. yeah. She starts yeah. hallucinating. This is Raman. My mum did mention Melinda. <laughs> yeah? Um, Only good stuff I heard. Her eyes, her, her eyes flick f- from each of you um, <laughs> <I'm not> and <laughs> to each other. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. could you both give me a psychology roll? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. I suppose so. Yeah, that's more like it. That's a success. 25 on a 30. Nice. Mm. Might not be enough. Uh, but. 41 on a 30. <laughs> so, Ray, you, you get the impression that not only has she heard of Melinda, she's heard a bit more than just of Melinda. There's, it means something. And maybe your name right. meant something to you. Right, okay. She goes, so sorry, what, what is all this about? I'm, I've got to get home. I, I'm going out. Well, we just um, we just had a, a nice cup of tea with your mum earlier and she invited us back, so we, we came back and 
as I say, as I was leaving, I'm, I spotted yeah. you and I just wanted to say hello. Well, up, she said, that's her. And it is you. Yeah, yeah. So that's Angelica. Like, like she that's said, Angelica. not seen you since you were Nice cup of tea. Nice cup of tea yeah. with my mum. Is that right? Oh, well, it was all right. She, her, one of, she raises an eyebrow and suddenly you see a different person. Like, she was frightened and she looked like she was 16 and then suddenly you kind of go like, uh, hang on a second. She's just seen through you somehow. Right. She goes, nice cup of tea with my mum doesn't happen very often. Why is that, Angelica? Obviously. What do you mean, obviously? Aren't you a journalist? Am I right? You... Uh, well, I haven't got a job at the moment, but yeah. I am in Let's try the EDP. I'm not, I'm not here in a journalistic capacity. Mm. I'm here genuinely as a, as a friend of your mum's from when we were both 20. She looks, at, she looks at her watch and says, look, I've got to go. We met Elliot. Okay, all right. She stops. <laughs> mm-hmm. What? Yeah, we had a, well, was, in the league. Was he round? But he was, yeah. Oh, fuck. He was hiding, in fact, but we which had mean, a good What do you mean he was hiding? Oh. Mum. All right, look, is Sean all right? Yeah. You're not here to take Sean away, are you? No, no, nothing like that. We care about your mum. That's it. That's the only reason we came around. And look, you're not an idiot. Obviously, there were mitigating circumstances. We met up and she seemed down. She seemed not herself. We came back for the tea and it's all been very strange. And really, we're just worried about her. But we're not here to take anyone away or call the police or knock on you to the social or anything like that. But I don't know, Elliot seemed a bit off to me. And he seemed a bit worried about your mum. And about you, if I'm honest. Is everything all right, Angelica? You can you can talk to us. We're not... We're just a friendly ear. We're not going to say anything to anyone, but are, are you all right? She, um... She, she looks at her watch again, nervously. And then she says, Have you got 25 quid? What for? I want to, I want to, if you give me 25 quid and you drive me into town, I'll talk to you. <clears throat> okay. 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 All right. I she looks, she looks sort of nervously oh. around and again, sort of the, 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 you can't tell if it's facade or it's just the greater depth of, of her maturity sort of falls away again and she sort of gets into mm. the back of the car nervously. Yeah. Uh, and I think maybe there is the moment where Raman is released, I assume, potentially. Yeah. Next to her, I think. And, yeah. and sort of jumps in next to her, and she just can't resist sort of yeah, playing. Yeah, he's very irresistible. And, and that Especially seems to soften her in a way that, although you don't say anything as you're sort of pulling away. Yeah. Oh, actually, can I, get, can I get a spot hidden from you, just Ray, uh, on this occasion, as you glance into the back seat there? Um, and see this sort of, you know, she's a very striking young woman. Well, well, girl to young woman. And I think you're beginning to become more aware of what Melinda had seen, is that there's something slightly unusual about her. Uh, you couldn't say that it was sort of one particular thing, um, but uh, it all adds up to make an unusual um, set of factors about her. But yeah, if, could you give me a spot hidden? Yeah. No. <laughs> I failed. I failed. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Right. <laughs> so, uh, in the meantime, while that was happening, did anyone want... Uh, uh, were there any phone calls being made in the other car, or...? Were you going to phone... Um, was it Greg? Well, I think maybe I say... Um, l- listen, we've got a, a minute. Maybe one of us should call Greg and one of us should call... Um, Ma- is it Mari or Ma- Mary or Marie? Uh, I think... Mari? I was going to say Mari. Mari. Because I think Marie, I think he would have put an E. But then, you know, he I does think. like to uh, mess with us with his spelling. So. I, th- I, w- I think Ma- Mari was my first Mari. instinct. Mm. Mm. That's what I think uh, it is. Yeah, one of us should call Greg, one of us should call Mari. I, I haven't spoken to either of them for a while, but I, I used to be tired with Greg. Maybe I should give him a call. Well, you call Greg and I'll call Mari then. Hey, great, great. So I get my phone out and yeah. I, do still, I do still have Greg's number. Yeah. Yeah. Roll your luck. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. Fair enough. Very fair. It's five. Both of us. Uh, yeah, go on, both of you. I mean, I'll have to take it in turns, obviously. I can't I can't do the... Uh, 
I can't do the sexy intercut. Uh, it might come to that, but I... I have just failed it by two points, but I can't spend a lot. No, unfortunately not. So. so it does go beep, beep, and you get, please leave a message for Greg Draper. I, 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 after the, t- after the tone, I, I leave it just a little bit too long before hanging up, <laughs> but I don't leave a message. And then I do hang up. And then I think, and then I, and then I say to myself, oh, fuck. It would have been better to leave a message. He's got this call from me, and I do. Fuck it, fuck it. But yeah, I don't, I don't leave a message. And how was your luck roll, uh, Alicia? I aced it. Aced it. Nice. Um, your, your, the phone rings and rings and rings, but there is no answer until it goes beep. Thought it must have been unlucky for her to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you would say that that is a deliberate not pick up. I that's see. A, that's a. Been ringing long enough. I've got a feeling it was unlucky for her to pick up. I think we should get a load of guns, go around there, and shoot her brains out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, do you think? She uh, was she she she, she uh, cancelled the call. Whatever you call it, she hung up on you, did she? I think she's the supernatural entity at the. Source of all of these problems? Uh, no, yeah, no, um, no. She, she didn't, she didn't pick up there, and it rang quite a long time. I think, I think she saw me ringing, and went, thought, oh fuck, this is going to be to do with all that shit that's been going down. I'm not going to answer this because I don't want to be involved. I think she knows something. Well, Greg didn't. Greg went straight to answer phone for Greg. I guess maybe we, maybe we try them both again later. Um, uh, listen, we, they've, they've got back in the car. Um, can you do that, Alicia? You, you, you say you're pretty good at driving. Can, can you do that thing where you sort of tail them from in front? I've heard about, I read about it in those uh, Kirk sleep stories. <laughs> the, well, it's very straightforward. I'll, I'll get in front and then I'll do a really quick donut. So then suddenly I'm behind them. No, no, stay in front and just watch them in a review. Apparently, that's what I read. That's what that's what he used to do in the stories. He um, like he would he would tail them in from in front. He'd watch the he'd watch them indicate the time before them. The, no their car is now approaching. Are you going to quick, 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 pull, quick. pull in front or are you going to wait okay. for it to pass? Okay. Or do a donut. I mean, and I rear end you. Uh, they know. <laughs> I pull out really carefully. <laughs> At which point you probably, as you're discussing the the odd system of mirrors and pulleys that Kirk Sleep, this <laughs> fictional character, had in his car in the books, um, to be able to tell from the lead. Uh, it's a Raymond think... Chandler thing. He, he used to uh, he used to tell cops uh, in front. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you. Either way, I think you see me calling on your phone. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. She got into the car, you know, Eric. Who are you calling? Uh, I was going to call Eric, because I know Alicia's driving. Okay, so as you call Eric, your phone rings with Murray's number, Alicia. Oh, fuck's sake, Ray. Hang on, Ray. Hello? Uh, so Ray's calling me. Yeah. yeah. Murray's calling Alicia. And, and Murray's calling. Oh, right. I think I'm just going to pull over again. They've been incredibly generous to give you their telephone numbers. Yeah, I'm right. just going to pull over again. This is too dangerous. I haven't been in touch with you for 20 years. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, you're, you're right. Pull over, pull over. I don't know how to work your Bluetooth thing here. I'm going to have to pull over. That's fine. And I am... Um, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to fucking hang up. And uh, I am... Um, but I do manage to can't. I hang no, up. answer him and tell him we're pulling over. No. Oh, shit. No, I send him a message. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. Is that you, Alicia? Here, uh, Melinda, <laughs> do you mind dropping a pin on the WhatsApp? Just letting them know that we're not heading to David. Yeah, sure. I'll do that right now. Hi, Alicia. Is that you, Alicia? Hi, 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 Mari. How are you? Oh, uh, what a oh, what a pleasant surprise! Oh, gosh, how long has it been? Oh, it's been age, ages. She wasn't at the reunion, was she? No. Uh, yeah, missed you at the reunion. Oh, not really my or a sort few of old faces. And I was thinking about you. Not really my sort of thing. You know what I'm like. Yeah. A bit of a homebody. You know. Oh, yeah. Especially after all of the work. Yeah, but how have you been, though? It's so uh, nice to yeah, hear from you. Um, it's been it's been a bit tough, I won't lie. It's been a weird, weird bit of time. Mm. Uh, after Gary died. Um, oh, I am so sorry. Are you still working? 
I did hear. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Uh, are you still working at the bank? Yes. Yes. In fact, I have been promoted. Fantastic. And they're a lovely team, actually. There's a nice yeah. focus on management now, which I'm really enjoying. So, but I mean, were you calling for a particular reason? I was so surprised. I didn't know whether I should answer you or not. Well, you're not. very insightful, Mari. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? I didn't know whether I should answer, in all honesty. It was such a surprise. Yeah. Well, listen, what's been going on is um, a few of us are back in um, Norwich at the moment. Oh, really? Um, yeah, do you fancy getting a, a coffee or something? Only oh. there's some stuff that's been going on that we, we're a bit worried about. And mm-hmm. uh, particularly Sarah, uh, she got in touch with us, actually. Yes. And I just wondered if you knew anything about that. Well, that's um, m- maybe why I didn't want to answer the phone, because I thought Sarah might have been in touch. But um, I put the phone to my chest and turned to Eric and go, I was right, I was right. She knew about some shit that's going on. That's why she didn't answer the phone. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, I missed that. But yeah, we'll carry on. Yeah, I mean, we could, um, yeah, we could do coffee. You, you could always come over here if you wanted. Um, oh, yeah, sure. We could go over there. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of work right now. But, well, I suppose it might be a bit late for coffee. But we could go for a drink, maybe. There's quite a nice pub up the road. It's um, a gastro bad. place, um, the White Lion. The what lion? The White Lion. It's, oh, it's yeah. just down from my house. It's nice. Like, uh, gastro food, you know. Nothing too fancy. I just do a sign. Um, Not Belgian. Sort of indicate, like, don't, don't tell her you're with me. Don't, don't mention me. Sort of waving my hand and pointing at me and go shaking my head. Okay. I will come for a bite to eat <laughs> at the White <laughs> Lion. You know, apparently most pubs in Britain are called the Red Lion, but I can't remember the last time I saw a pub called the Red Lion, but apparently it's the most common name for a pub. You'd think it'd be the Wheat Chief. There's loads of places called the Wheat Chief, but apparently not. Oh, Alicia, it's funny. Nothing changes with you, does it? You're still as kooky as ever. Well, it's a fact. I can't help, can't, he can't help himself but mumble under his breath. I would have thought Royal Oak, maybe. Yeah, or the Royal Oak. <laughs> Ooh, is that someone dark and handsome I just heard? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Alicia, that was inappropriate. I'm really sorry. I think it was just sort of like a flashback, you know, to the old times. We used to joke about boys. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm um, I'm still grieving. No, of course. Anyway, um, well, <laughs> should we say seven thirty at the White Lion? It's on that the um, fantastic. It's on the Bayfield Road, just off Huntingdon Street. It's north okay. of the train station. It's in those right. It's in those well next to those lovely nineteenth-century Victorian terrace houses. Even I can't afford them on my wages. <laughs> I'm looking on Google Maps while she's talking. How, how are you doing for money? Uh, yeah, uh, why? Is it expensive? We should talk about that. I can give you advice if you like. It's, of course, it is expensive, yes. It's not a weather spoons or anything, though. Well, no, the white line is very nice. That's okay. I don't like supporting weather spoons, even no, no. though it's cheaper. I understand. Well, look, I should go, because if I'm going to get this work finished... You can take a masala's have gone. By 7.30, well, you know. Yeah. But it's so lovely to hear from you. Actually, it, I would love to talk to you about um, uh, some mm-hmm. business loans, actually. I've been... I set up an antique business, and um, well, I'm thinking of expanding, diversifying. We could talk about that a bit, if you like. Well, that m- means I could probably... Well, I can't claim expenses, but... Uh, I could say that I was working. <laughs> it's even better, you know. Um, okay, seven thirty it is. Great. All right. Oh, well, you have my number. You. Text me if there's a problem. Will do. Okay. Bye bye for now. Bye. Oh, what a dreadful phone call! <laughs> Good luck spending thirty-two quid on a fish finger sandwich. Fucking hell. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Worst first date ever. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm, if it's a fish finger sandwich for thirty-two quid, I'm I'm interested. <laughs> what have they done? Yeah, exactly. Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mari was Mari was always 
a bit of a mystery back in the day. Uh, but there's definitely something about her through past past the surface thing, which she seems... I mean, she seems to be just one part of herself now. And that was always there at university. But mm. you didn't notice much of a thaw in case my performance was not coming across there. <laughs> there was a, she, she seemed very held. Mm. Nathan held. And, well, he does have a hypnotic uh, aspect about him. Um, held by held. As opposed to the charisma of David Barber. Now, where are you driving, team? So, oh my god, you reckon there are clues we... about their personalities in the names? That means mm. Mari is cubine. That means she's like short and fat. Yes, yeah, she... <laughs> she's basically a square. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, have these guys pulled out in front of us, right? Where Where does David live? Yeah, but then we pull, we pulled over to answer the call. So I think. I think you've probably now gone ahead of us. They, they pulled out and then they pulled back in again, so it was a bit weird. The reason I... Well, the reason I, I asked Melinda to put our location on the WhatsApp and send a message is because, obviously, we've now agreed to take Angelica... Angelica. Angelica. Yeah, yeah, into town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which isn't to David's. Sure. Hence, hence why I was trying to call Ray. Well, no, it would be, because you can go through town to the Unthank Road. Because uh, this... Oh, OK. You're, you're out northwest, I think, roughly. Certainly north. Right. But David's the other side of town. So it is en route. David's the other side of town. So to go through, it's that little bit longer, so it will take 25 minutes probably at this time of night to get through because, you know, you remember what the traffic's like in Norwich. Perfect. Traffic in Norwich. And we'll play it in real time. Terrible. Obviously. Uh, yeah. There is a danger we might. Let's try not to, but I've got wine. I can well, um, So, well, anyway, you've dropped the location on the on the WhatsApp, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think maybe I'd just say, oh, look, they've, they've dropped a pin. I don't, I don't know why... They, this isn't David's place, but I guess we should just... Well, I guess they want us to follow them. Well, I saw... I, that was a hard computer roll you, you rolled. Sorry to interrupt. It was, yeah. So the, the WhatsApp thread previously had Sarah on it, mm. so you will have had to have set up a new WhatsApp thread. Yes, indeed. Work in moments. The Moon Children. I'm just finding the right icon for it. So he's, he's rolled his hard, and I'll let... That's, yeah, yeah. That's all the success you're going to have there. Next one, you'll have to roll again. And you're also setting up the insurance. So. Yeah. Oh, on my two phones as I'm driving yeah, with my mouth. As you're driving. Can you give me a drive give me a drive roll? Again I mumble to myself. Yeah. Would have been a lot easier on a Blackberry. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. Give me, give me a drive roll for all of this multitasking. I mean it's the base, so Yeah, just don't fumble. And that's a forty four mm. on my twenty base yep. drive. Yeah. So it's not great. Angelica got in the car, so maybe there was a change of plan. Oh maybe. Melinda, you're really impressed with how Ray's loosened up. Yeah. It's like, he drives a bit more like a real man now. Yeah. At one point, he just sort of straddles both lanes, but, you know, it's old cat and it's not, it's not that busy at the moment. And he's just like, well, gutsy. Yeah, he stepped up a bit. I thought he was a bit namby-pamby, but... <laughs> All right, yeah. I look in the rear view and go, well, we picked the right car, Ray's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's really irresponsible. He's on a headpiece. He's IT. That's the guy tripping off his tits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really irresponsible. Yeah, yeah. You should have done the donut. I can't believe you didn't. <laughs> okay, so um, Angelica's in the back and she says, yeah, if you could just drop me up by the... Um, well, I'd be where the old library is for you. Yeah. It's the new mail. Okay. And then you said you're happy to talk to us. I can, I can give you... Uh, at the 25, that's not a problem at all, but, um... Yeah, no, no, it's OK, I've got that. Are you happy to have a chat with us about... Well, we're talking, well, we're talking now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, you're right, we are talking now. Your dog's lovely. What's your dog's name? Ramen. Say hello, Ramen. <laughs> He's been licking out of hands, probably. It's so, such a weird name for a dog. <laughs> He's sweet, isn't he, though? He is cute. He likes do you. you have any, do you have any pets, Angelica? Uh, no, I did have a hamster. He died. Did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I don't need pets Sad. now. I've got other things in my life. Friends. Good. Claire, yeah, what, what have you got going on? What's going on in your oh, life? Oh, you know, just normal stuff. What did you want to ask about? Oh. Shaggy. Ask about your home life, really. Um, we're trying to track down... We're having a bit of a sort of uni reunion, and we're trying to track down some of our old friends from when we were, you know, not much older than you are now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, Still got them on socials, but it's hard to know if you really know them. You can see her texting as you're starting this polite, normal... I'll say that again, I missed you. You can see her texting uh, as, you're, as you're bringing to uh, beginning this 
very polite and very understandable uh, introduction. She transcribing. And in fact, we're um, we're going to go and visit uh, a couple more friends this weekend while we're here. We're going to oh, yeah. um, visit. Uh, do you know the name David Barber? She stops texting, and she looks. She looks up at you. Um, oh, you do know the name. Uh, and you can see what she's trying to do. She's trying to act her way through it. It's like mm. she's trying to just cover it by. She like she flicks her hair back and sort of shakes it, but instead of it looking like oh I'm just totally nonchalant that doesn't mean anything, you see a girl who sort of preens in that moment, almost as if she's sort right. of delighted to hear the name. It just yeah. doesn't quite, you, you, you know, you don't need to do a psychology role. She failed her acting role no. quite badly. Right. <laughs> nice. So she's got quite yeah. good acting. Um, Is he, are they still in touch, him and your mum? Do you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. David's nice. Yeah. I like David. Yeah? It's just... Nicer than Nathan. Have you seen Nathan recently? No. No. Have you? He came around the other day. He was, a, he, he was a pig. What did he do? He was quite mean to mum. Oh, no, why? I don't know. I think it's a, some old thing to do with that club you were all in. Really? Right. Yeah, I th- figured you'd know. Isn't that why you're here? Huh. Well, unless you're looking I'll to be score. With you. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I'm a bit old for that these days. <laughs> but um, I know. Uh, Shame my mum isn't. Elliot, to be honest with you, Elliot did mention that Nathan had been round. And from what he said, it sounded like he'd been very unpleasant. Mm. So. That's not an entire surprise. Is it just the once he's come round, been mean to your mum? I don't know, he's been over a couple of times. What else did Elliot right. say? He's a liar, you know. Well, it doesn't sound like he was... And he sells drugs to my mum, so I wouldn't trust everything that he says. I, I know, and, and we trust you, we don't, we don't know him, but it sounds like he wasn't lying about that, because you both just told us the same thing. I mean, that Nathan had come over a couple of times and was mean to your mum, I mean... Can you say? I don't want to put you in a tight spot, but was it him who gave her the shiner? She bites her she bites her lip and says I thought you wanted to talk to me about me. You just want to talk about mum. No. I do want to talk about you. But we don't we don't know what you. What are you yet. gonna try and it's... tell me now? What are you gonna try and say? Are you gonna try and tell me that Nothing. I shouldn't be doing the stuff that I'm doing? Do you know what? You should let me out here. No, I don't I don't no, need to go into no. town. I don't need your money. Just let me out here. Listen, we're not telling you what. Why don't you let to me out, or, or I'll call the do. police? Okay, all right. All right, okay, we'll pull fine. up here. We'll pull up here, and I slow down. I don't pull up yet, but I make a show of slowing down, and I say, "Listen, you don't like Nathan. We don't like Nathan. We're just asking if it was him who gave her the shine at. I don't know why that's upset you so much. I'm sorry that it has." She she sits back and she regresses to about twelve in that moment. Right. Okay. Yeah. She just kind of slumps back into the chair, looks out the window and says nothing. Right, well, she's not getting her 25 quid then. Probably sulking, but doesn't d- doesn't open the door, doesn't leave, just, you've stopped, pulls back. Well, I slowly pull in and, yeah, stop. Well, you're, you're slowing down, wouldn't you? You're slowing down. Near enough, probably, to where she wants to go, but, yeah, slowing down. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the other car. Are you guys just... Yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to bomb ahead to Unthank Road, or are you... Is there any change of direction, or are you... I they're slowing down, Eric. Do I slow down? Is that how? How do you do that? I I, 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 d- I don't know. I assume they dropped the pin because they wanted us to uh, meet them at the pin. Otherwise, they just would have sent us a message and said, uh, "Catch you up." So well, yeah, let's go to the pin and you text them and say, "We'll meet you at the pin." Uh, perfect. I think maybe you see. Call us if you need help. You, you see, Mel is texting on the thread. <laughs> oh, right, hang on, Mel's texting as well. I'll just say, well, meet you at the pin. Question mark? Qu- question mark, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I love the fact we're making fun of the people our age, <laughs> where we're from, <laughs> now. <laughs> what can I say? Contemporary Cthulhu. Yeah. It has it all. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Mel, Mel receives their message and sends back the thumbs up emoji. Yeah. Well, she obviously gave up on her text. Sometimes it's easier, isn't it? We've all been there. Uh, she, she sent a, a thumbs up emoji, so I guess that we made the right choice. <laughs> we'll meet her at the pin. Yeah. Is it emoji or emoticon? I don't know no. the difference, yeah. really. It used to be emoticon. When did it change? But now people say emoji. I don't right. know. I think it's because people got more into, like, 
I don't know. Because it, emoticons, it, 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 that's a Japanese, it was a Japanese guy who invented that. Was it? But oh. emoji sounds more Japanese. It does, but it's emoticon. emoticon when you do like, you know, a colon, that's hyphen. Well, not hyphen, but like oh, in, in dash. yeah, that, that makes a lot good. more emoticon. sense. And then uh, close back is, that's an emoticon, and an emoji is actually the, the, the image. The, the, Are they related at all to the Decepticons, the villains in the Transformers? The Decept- or is it? Do you know what? I reckon Ray would tell us that they're related to the Decepticons, the villains in the Transformers. <laughs> but I don't watch the Transformers. <laughs> His dog has got a weird fucking name for a dog. Right, I'm not having any more ramen slam. Though. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll meet them at the we'll meet them at the pin. We're wasting time. We're, we're, we look forward to that at the end of an episode as a little bonus. It's ramen yeah. Japanese. The dish. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you guys, dog. Uh, how far did you drive? Do you reckon, Ray? How far have you been driving? Is, it, is that like five minutes? Uh, well, was she that, was taking wasn't us. Mad, was, it? was it three, three or four minutes? Yeah, I would have yeah. thought so. So you 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 barely out of old Catton, right? Yeah, on the outskirts, I think. Yeah, she yeah, said yeah, pull yeah. over, so we're yeah, slowing. Yeah, she she pulls pull over. over. Um, so, Melinda, yeah. you you look out the window um, and you see a bus pulling away and there's a few people walking away from the bus stop um, and one of them is a 16-year-old girl with dark hair. Mm-hmm. And it's Angelica. Mm. Oh, shit. Stop the car, Ray. Ray, stop the car. <laughs> can he? Can can he? Look, look, uh, look at the the bus stop over there. Look, look. You you you, you see Angelica walking towards the pu- the pavement, and then gets on the pavement and is sort of walking. Away. She's about fifteen yards away. Can you see that? Can you see that? Look, Angelica. Look. Can I see that? Yeah, yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. And. Can Angelica see? Does she respond at all? Is she still in the back of the car for a start? So, so you, you, you turn around and, and you, you look at the back of the car and you see a young man with lank, dark hair and a pale, oh, fuck and a pale face. And he just grins at you. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Joseph, I feel physically sick. Could you, um, oh. could you both give me a sanity roll? I don't know if I can. No, 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 that was horrible. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's a 98. <laughs> Boom. Boom. What's your sanity? Uh, <laughs> well, I lost one already, and I was on. You're above 50, though, right? That isn't, I've absolutely. I fucking hope so. It's crucial. It's extreme it. success. Oh, I was on 60, yeah, so I'm on 59. Not a you were right. Not a fumble. Right. Not a fumble. I mean, it's still not great, Shame, no, let's be honest. I feel like I need to roll sanity for just being on the <laughs> Zoom when that happens. <laughs> I rolled a three on a 58. Fucking rotten. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you really hold it together, Melinda. Yeah. Um, uh, there's something about the grin. That's not possible. That's not possible. Yeah, and uh, as you're saying, he sort of just starts to melt in, into the seat. Go away! Go away! Um, googly, 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 go away! Um, it's at that point, Ray, you realise something that you missed before she was uh, Raman jumped into the back and Raman kind of jumped around a bit and then she was sort of fondling yeah. Raman's head but he just wasn't really responding he was sort of just like he was looking like he was just enjoying being in the back and, and he, I think he was enjoying the fact that you were sort of talking to him but there was something about Fuck. and you suddenly realised that was the thing that you just glossed over I mean I don't know what the sanity thing is done, but I, my my sane instinct would be as soon as I see this, I think the protection to like take my seatbelt off and dive for ramen. Yeah. Whoever this fucking evil figure is sinking into the. But it, but it is a fail, but, so uh, and it's quite a bad fail. So yeah, I'm afraid to say it is. Yeah. It is one d six for that because like you yeah. were chatting away. And, would be. And, I mean, it's it's horrible enough yeah. to warrant yeah. that yeah. and more. That's a one again. Oh. oh, so it could be far fucking worse. Amazingly, you you hold it together, but but I think you do do that. I think you um you, you follow your instincts. Yeah. So I, I uh, is he still is he vanishing or is he dis- he's just sinking into the seat and yeah. uh, the only thing that's really left is this this smile that just kind of dissipates <laughs> into the pattern of the oh like the Cheshire cat oh your Cheshire cat yeah. Yeah, yeah can I can I grab can I reach back and grab at it See if I can. Yeah, that, that's that's sort of your involuntary action, and I think actually you grab and you're scratching at the thing, yeah. and you're sort of 
yeah. it's desperately sort of I mean, my, scrubbing. I turn back briefly just to undo my seatbelt and I launch sort of around the seat to try and grab Ram yeah, yeah. and bring him into the front. Yeah. Um, he's still there, right? It's not like he's taken Raman and sunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, he's fine. He's fine. He's he's a bit sort of. Bit, he, I think he does bark. But he's more freaked out by us. <laughs> Suddenly, like he's a bit upset by the sudden. Like it, it was all good attention. Right, he was boy. enjoying people talking to him. What the fuck was that? What the, the fuck bark. was that? Yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I want to get out of this car. She's there. Look, Angelica's there. You can look. Look, she's there. If that right. even is her. Okay. Well, that's that's the second time this has happened. We told you the double we saw. Mm. She's. She's past her spot hidden, and she sort of looks at the two of you, and then she does sort of does a double take and kind of goes slightly closer, uh, and she looks exactly like what she looked like. You know, she's she is the person who is in the photo. She is. How far ugh. away is she? I mean, I'm still so horrified by this happening. I'm out of the car. I think I'm like. Well, either way, I want to get Raman and get out. There are there are differences in her clothes. I would point out. Okay. Um, she's about ten yards away. Okay. Getting out of this fucking car. Where is he? He's gone into the boot or something. I'll get around the back and I open the boot. I, I, there's a figure in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, classic. Yeah, you do. There's there's nothing in there. There's just all your stuff is in there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Think, those, those, oh, fuck. The eight laptops, the Nintendo Switch. I think I get out of the car and yeah, I get yeah. the cash box out of my bag and I say, Angelica, this is yours. Do you want to come and talk to me? She, 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 she I mean, oh. she takes a visible step back goes what the fuck well and she, she looks around and goes who to- my name's melinda i'm a friend of your mother's but i think she's in trouble i've been to the house i want to talk to you if you want this back you need to talk to me now <laughs> so while you're threatening her with the cash box a wide-eyed man behind you is opening the boot and the dog's going and sort of whispering to himself <laughs> yeah. okay she doesn't she doesn't run but she looked like she was about to could you give me um it's either a persuade or an intimidate. Intimidate, um, I think. Yeah. While we're on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was pretty intimidating. I, I liked it. On a roll. I mean, it, also your hand is you can is shaking. You can hear things rattling as you're holding this thing up because you, that adrenaline spike is right back. I haven't actually got a number on intimidate. Ah, so okay. it'll be the base. So maybe is your persuade better? Fifteen. Okay. Uh, I think she's a fast uh, a talker, isn't she? On a 15. Really? Boo. 47 and 15. Yeah, maybe it's the shaking of the hands, but she sort of takes another couple of steps back and says, I don't know, what what was your name? Melinda, Melinda Moody. I was a friend of your mother's when she was at university. I'm worried she might be in trouble. Can you talk to me, please? We're not going to hurt you. We're not going to say anything. We're not going to dob you in. We just want to... I'm just worried about my friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's completely failed her psychology role. She looks like she doesn't know if she believes you or not. It might just take something else. Check your real face. Um, I'm worried about Sean as well. Can you talk to me, please? Yeah, that her attitude changes. She takes a couple of steps forward and goes, what do you mean, worried about Sean? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine, he's fine, but... Uh, she hasn't done anything stupid, has no, she? No, she hasn't, but we're worried about her. And she's, you know, she's the adult in the house with Sean there. He's only little... Can you talk to us, please? I think at that point I close the boot and I sort of take a couple of deep breaths and then sort of come around the side of the car <laughs> trying to look as sort of sane as possible <laughs> to back up. And then they're like, hello, stroking my <laughs> dog. Like a Bond villain. <laughs> Would you like some ramen? Stop talking, Ray, stop talking. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, could you... I think ramen has quite a high charm. Yeah. I'd say that's fair. Uh, or possibly a high appearance. Actually, let's, let's give him an appearance. Let's give him an appearance of... I think let's let's give Raman an appearance of... Well, possibly... I mean, like, Eric's not taken. So, but then maybe he's All, all I'll say is the Multipoo stays for the whole life basically in the state of a sort of puppy-like teddy bird, sort of... Yeah, yeah they, I mean, it is pretty really incredible, isn't it? And he's only three. I, so. I'm going to give you a 70 appearance for him. So Thanks. could you roll uh, a 70 appearance? Yeah. It's pretty hot. And, and I think the, the, the lower, the better. That's 94. He's basically... Yeah. Would you like to push the roll? Would Raman like to push the roll? I, Raman, I think, he's, he's quite vain. And he sort of goes, oh, I wasn't doing that right. Stick a finger right up his bum. And he sort of he scratches, scratches, fluffs his fur out. And I stick a finger up his arse. No. I think we can safely say we've not forgotten the dog this time. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> slut. He's the Hansel of this party. Right, we've screwed the pooch here, lads. Hansel. Right, I'm, I am pushing it. it. Well, Raman's pushing it. Hansel. So, what were you doing? I was so horrified by that. <laughs> What, what, how is he pushing it? Um, he, he sort of... Because he's good at sensing emotions. I mean, multipoos generally are, actually are. Yeah. They're very so... Yeah. Yes, so I think. I think he sees this tentative teenager sort of stepping back and senses that thing like they do, like someone's scared or someone's whatever. Mm. But his instinct is never aggression, so he sort of just tries to make himself look friendlier, fluffs up his fur a bit, sort of, uh, and does a little... Mm -hmm, as if he's, like, really keen to meet her. I, I think... I think that means that he jumps out of your... Yeah, arms. and I've rolled a twenty-four. If I could, if if I could, Luckily. okay, good, good. Mm. If I could just add a little bit of danger <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To, the, to that. Yeah, he was being very kind to himself. I, I think. I think that. Well, we, we are nervous about Jeopardy for, no, <laughs> for Raman, but we must. We must be brave, my friend. Well, it's, it's a dog pushing the roll. He doesn't yeah. understand the rules, does he? Well, I suppose I'm doing it as a sort of <laughs> bunching it between no, I like you it. and <laughs> the three of you. Don't let anything happen to Raman. So Raman jumps out, and I think Ray, you have the instinct to go. Okay, yes, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. let you meet meet the. the no, the, no, the time to properly put him in. The and, thing. and and he sort of bounds over, and I think it does break the ice. She goes, oh, all right, and she sort of looks around. And you're on the corner of this dodgy road, like there's a main road really close. You're about to leave Olcat, and she's clearly come back from after school club or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's it's five thirty-five. She's, she's got off the bus and she just sort of looks around and goes, and in a heartbreaking way that you recognise, it is slightly disturbing. She goes, "All right, if you can take me into town." And she looks at her watch, and it is exactly the same. I think I do take a really big, deep breath at that point because it's very unsettling, and I'm very worried about what might happen next. And I look at Melinda almost as if to get any sort of confirmation about how she's feeling. Like, do we say yes? Like... Fuck it. <laughs> what can we do? Yeah, sort of a little shrug, like, fuck it, what else are we gonna... She looks at you both as that happens, and, and she sort of... She yeah. puts the mask on, but it's the mask of pride, and she says, mm. why don't you just drive me to David's? Boom! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> 